Boo Park is insane and everyone's going freaking nuts for it. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to get your ass down there. And stick around to the end because I'll give you three hot tips to help you have an amazing day. Hey! That's a big jump. They're massive. You could almost ride it from here. You don't want to face plant. Oh shit! Why? What happened? Oh, where am I? So many people. Oh, yes, Officially known as Boyambara Park, Boo Park is a tiny pocket of land in the middle of suburbia. It contains two 400 metre long hard surface jump trails, plus a separate return to get you quickly back to the top. The Blue Roaded Trail contains nearly a dozen small to medium sized tabletop jumps, linked together with fast flowing berms. The Black Roaded Trail levels that up quite significantly with a wall ride, massive tabletop jumps, steep lips and even an on off platform. The up track is super smooth with a gentle gradient and has good views of the riders coming down. This is definitely not your typical mountain bike park, but it's an amazing place to have fun with a bike. Did I mention that there is also a pump track? Okay, let's have a look at the jumps. Blue trail first. In this end to end run, I'm chasing my friend Kit. We get it pretty clean, but after I'll show you a few things you should try and avoid. Okay, so that was a pretty good run. Nice, mate. Now I'll show you what not to do. Don't oversend the three pack. It's very easy to pick up speed here and you'll find yourself over clearing them very easily, especially the last one. Woo! Yeah, oh, shit. Watch out for this merge point with the black that trail. Big. It's easy for unsuspecting riders to find themselves on the wrong line. Oh, where am I? <laughs> The final two jumps require more speed than you think. You'll need to rail this final burn or risk casing it in front of a crowd. Also keep your distance on these jumps. They are steeper than the others and require a little more space as I found out. <laughs> the black jump line is far more challenging than the blue. Although it is mostly rollable, there are some massive jumps that require a lot of speed and height to clear. With Tim leading the way, we decided to roll down for a look. We hadn't seen anyone riding this feature yet, but it still wasn't a great place to stop. We knew we had to move quickly. Well, we better not get caught up here. Just maintain the right speed and... Yeah, hop up another, hop on another. You could almost ride it from here. Oh, that. Right. Yo! <laughs> yeah, kid. Oh. <laughs> I thought about it, but... Nah. There's no doubt that these jumps were freaking huge. I could build up to them slowly, but casing them over and over didn't seem very appealing. I figured the best option was just to let off the brakes and try to clear them straight away. If I could keep Tim in my sights, then I might have a chance. Are you going to go for the jumps? <laughs> I get a good footage. <laughs> yeah, all right. All good in theory, but I must admit I was feeling very nervous. Why? Nice. Ha <laughs> ha 
Wow. Oh, that's crazy. Did you have them? Nice. No. Most of them. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> nice man. Yeah boy. Happy with that. There was plenty to tidy up, but I'd survived. And it wasn't long after this that Dave snuck up on us. How are you? Oh, good mate. <laughs> so I took a break to get some footage of them all. I jump back on the bike for a few last laps with the guys, hoping for a clean run. Gotta get this clean this time. Tim was looking really dialed and I tried to hang on to him. Yes, Tim. Oh, yes, Tim. <laughs> Nice! That was crazy! <laughs> he just sued the big no one. Way. Yeah. Tim did. Tim did. <laughs> the big tree bird felt massive at time. It had been a fantastic morning and we were all stoked with these new trails. I hope it won't be long until we're back out here again. Okay, as promised, here are my three best tips for getting out there and having a good time. On the day I was there, I saw people on mountain bikes, dirt jumpers, BMX bikes, and even a tiny kid's bike. All of these bikes are fine, but there are some things to keep in mind. Newer riders will definitely benefit from having a bike with good brakes. The track runs fast and some of the jumps can send you further than you expect. On that note, please use your brakes carefully as skidding on the trail surface can cause unnecessary damage. A bike with suspension will make it easier to learn the jumps as it helps absorb the impact from not clearing them fully. Riders who are able to clear the jumps easily will probably feel comfortable with less or no suspension. At this stage, the trail surface is smooth, fast and grippy, so pretty much any type of tyre should be fine. If you're lucky, you might be able to score a spot in the car park at the bottom of the trail. Otherwise, there's a fair bit of parking along the southwest corner of Boo Park. And if you're coming by train, then Fremantle train station is only a short ride away. Hopefully you won't need it, but Fremantle Hospital is close by as well. Some riders seem to float effortlessly over the jumps, like it was the easiest thing in the world. But don't be fooled, it's likely that they've spent years learning how to jump, at least that's what I tell myself. Jumping looks simple, but there's a lot going on, and there's a lot that can go wrong. Start small and build up slowly. Practice, practice, and then practice some more. Sometimes it will feel like you're not making any progress, and then one day, boom, things start to click. And look after yourself. Know your limits. Don't be afraid to come back another day if you're not feeling it. There's no bigger obstacle to progress than getting injured. And more than anything, enjoy yourself. Find a good crew to hang with, learn from each other, look after each other, and have some laughs along the way. This place is absolutely incredible, and I really mean that. To have this sort of facility plonked right in the middle of Fremantle is a gift to all of the kids and big kids for miles around. There's no doubt that Fremantle Hospital will see a few extra visitors as a result. But overall, in terms of people getting out and exercising and having fun, it's got to be a massive win. Congratulations to Fremantle Council and Three Chilies Design for making this a reality and for showing us what is possible. Hopefully your example will inspire other councils to get on board and build more of these types of facilities. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope I've convinced you to get the hell down there. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.
Yeah, boys. 